Well, the theme for the Blue Angels homecoming air show this year, women in aviation. And history was made in 1973 when the first class of naval women aviators began their training at Naval Air Station Pensacola. WEAR's Aubrey Spears has that story. Today I spoke with some of the trailblazers for women in naval aviation who started their training right here in Pensacola. It all began 50 years ago at NAS Pensacola. The first class of women naval aviators took to the skies. Be careful, I flew those airplanes. Chris Giza started breaking barriers in 1973 as she went on to become the eighth female naval aviator. At a young age, she knew she was meant to fly, hoping to follow in her uncle's footsteps. So as I was growing up, I was like, well, I can do anything he can do. And then they said, well, women can't fly. And I was like, and my mother pulled me aside and says, you can do anything you want to do. Giza says it wasn't easy being one of the first. Pushback and criticism was something she faced every day. It's the second group of women, we weren't very well wanted nor received in a lot of places so um, but you know I look around now and see all the women that are flying and I go things have changed and it's a great change. Joellen Oslin is another trailblazer. She's the Navy's first female helicopter pilot. It literally has transformed the Navy and the other services as well. We were not we were the first to have women pilots but we weren't the last. So it, it's been an amazing experience, something I never expected. Um, and it's been an amazing year. And uh, I kind of feel like my work is done now. These women are some of the first, but certainly not the last. And today they got to see their legacy as naval aviators continued. Together, they watched the Blue Angels, first female F-18 demonstration pilot, Lieutenant Commander Amanda Lee, race across the sky. The theme for the 2023 NAS Pensacola Blue Angels Homecoming Air Show celebrates the accomplishments of these women and their legacy. Reporting from NAS Pensacola, Aubrey Spears, WEAR News.